And... And... We're live! Good morning! Today we plan our plan of attack, make our plan of attack for the Burial Chambers maps on... on Monday. We are going to need to... Look at that, my chat widget's working again. We are going to need to buy those maps this weekend. And see, uh... <sighs> And see how it goes. But uh, we're going to be doing some React content today. Uh, Tom has a few videos for us to watch. Some of those Hell being strats. Yeah. Others being absolutely ludicrous. So I guess I guess we'll see. Uh, where? Oh, you're in... Duh. You're in party one. I was like, wait, how am I not in a call with you? I just heard you. Okay, I am here. Just need to make this full screen. And then I will pause the music. And then we'll resume it when we start running the game. Oh, the other one is Omus's video. That's right, the reliquary. Uh, huh? Huh? It won't let me full screen just yours. Like, it let me full screen the whole call, but it won't let me full screen just your thing. Why? Pop it out. Do a pop out window. Okay, is it not gonna let me do a pop out window either? It says stop watching mute show non video participants. What is going on here? Uh, so click on my stream, and then on the bottom right, there's a button that looks like an arrow. Yeah, it's still pulling up the whole call window. Do you see where it says pop out? Or are you yeah, I, ma I made a pop out and it's still... Hold on, I'm going to stream it too. My, my technical difficulties. It oh, is... there's a... I know what you're talking about. There's a little arrow. See where it says hide members? Um, no. Right, right above... Uh, in the middle. In the... Towards the center in the bottom, like right above where it says uh, mute. There's a little okay. member icon. I don't have that. Hide members, no? No. Turn on camera, uh, uh, the, the, whatever the rocket is. Share your screen, mute, emojis, so and above, disconnect. <laughs> above that, here, let me send you a picture on Facebook. Kind of hidden. Where are you sending this? Facebook. Ah, uh, hold on. I'm gonna have to launch Messenger. And yeah, I don't have that button. Huh? Yeah. Do you have, does everything else look the same? I mean, for the most part, yeah. I just don't have the hide member button. For the record, this is this is what he's talking about: a button here that says hide members. Maybe it's because I'm in the server, and we're not in a private call. You want to try a private call? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how that works. Okay, try now. Yep, I have it here. That's strange. Yeah, I don't know why I wouldn't have it in the uh, in the server. All right, what do we got? All right. All right. Let's pop up some of this content there. Oof. Is this go higher quality? I don't think so. This is 1080. People just farted hours and hours of their lives away. It's, it's not 1080 for me. I mean, that's, that's the gumbo, right? Or they 
It looks 1080. His cam looks kind of bleh. What point of the harvest gamma? Sometimes up, sometimes down. It is not weighted, as far as we know. The only reason the house wins is because there is a result where nothing happens. So you're always losing juice on average, like yellow juice. That's it. But you're just as likely to double or increase them as, as you are to lose. Sometimes very good, sometimes very shit. Exactly. <laughs> All right. We're here. Oh, he's not. At death. Cutter sank. Has a headhunter. Or does he? Uh. Uh, okay. He does. What does it have, though? Imagine if it's rare. Sweeping in ah! the worst. Oh ah! The ads! So I gave Swiffer a shot. It's way better. Sweeper's heavy duty dry cloths grab dust in here and lock it away. Better than my broom that can push it around. Swiffer, I've never used totally a Swiffer. Totally worth it. Love it or your money back. Swiffers are pretty good. I prefer them. Is this that MMO? Yeah, Hogwarts Legacy. Coming out in February. I'm probably gonna stream it, to be honest. Everyone in their mom on my friends list wants to wants to play it. Determination, oh! discipline. Wow. Death. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's pretty tanky. I mean, has there's already the tanky item. Damn. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, five divines is a little is a little too much. <laughs> I can take one. I'll put four in end league. If you're still playing, I'll give you this four back. Here we are, guys. Back back at it again. Plus two oh duration, God. plus two AoE, attack crit. Just spam click. Don't do times. it. <laughs> Perfect okay, crit. Let's do one at a time, I think. Oh, Ooh. and ah. on hit. Wow. I mean, depending on the build, or, you know. That is a very good defensive mod, but I don't know if that's what you wanted. It gained another implicit, but if you're, like, doing another curse, that might be a brick. You said nice. Again? Oh. You're, you're just, okay. Bruh. <laughs> 69. Oh. oh no! <laughs> well, <laughs> goodbye, four white sockets. Wait a second. If I, if I poof this, I almost I died. Am basically, Jesus. That I will erase the original Whoa. sin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. There you go. I am Jesus. Thank wow. You. Remember, if you have enough viewers, that you sucks. You just have to That's a hundred divines, hundred fifty. Yep, that. gone. If you come up with them, turn in. Okay, sure. Another. No, stop. Oh my god. Okay, I, I would never get to map. That art looks cool. Two flask, please. It's two flask. <laughs> <laughs> Discipline or effect crit chance. Puggies. Okay, wow. one more. Last one. One more, Jesus. Okay. We're back. One more? For Jesus round two. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Thanks for that. <laughs> Yet again, Matt came back with, uh, with a third original sin. There's <laughs> no way we can poof three in a row, right, guys? I wouldn't be so sure about nice. that. Stop trying! There you oh. go. Attack oh. the discipline aura effect. It's big! This bit is nice. That's huge. Don't know if the, if the discipline is nice. Maybe it's nice. It's max roll. 20%. <laughs> All right. It's max roll. Hey, would you mind gambling? Wow! Carry cards. I have 100 cards. I'm sorry, what? Well, even he's like, hold on. He's like, uh, how many cards? Huh? <laughs> hey, you want to close that ad? I, I almost went to go close the ad on my screen. I was like, wait, I can't. What? There's no ad. The, down the bottom? The Salem holiday happenings? Uh, there's no ad here.
D down oh, the bottom. Oh my god, it's blending in. Okay. I was like, what? I was like, is it me? <laughs> is it? Does OBS have ads now? Oh, oh yeah, right, dude. <laughs> in stream ads. Holy shit. <laughs> Bro, he is the apothecary. <laughs> oh my god. Bro is the apothecary. Okay. Well. That's that's so many. Okay. That's five. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen. That's twenty mage bloods. Why would anybody be like, hey bro, I got these twenty mirrors worth of shit. Can you just see if they disappear? <laughs> so Can you fucking Harry Houdini that shit? Just split into stacks of two. I will. I will do that. This reminds me of the Harvest League House of Miragamba. I'm about to get uh, audited, man. What, like, I'm about to get perma banned or some shit for RMT. That should be enough <laughs> juice. Okay, so we have 80,000 juice. The instructions are as follows. Put in the two, click, take whatever's left, put in the next stack, and so on. Is that correct? I will get more if needed. Huh? Bro, right. Bro, what? What the fuck? <laughs> Correct. All right. Do I type twice or do I type half? What do I type? Here is the leftovers. He says he links me 40 ah! carries. Always twice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Elon Musk. He bought Twitter and he bought all the apothecaries. <laughs> well, let's go, I guess. Hi guys. How many Bro. how many is this? 50 slots. That's a hot this is a hundred apothecaries. So so five thousand divines of apothecaries. <laughs> okay. Or more. Probably a bit more. Yeah. Because it's fifty yeah, five thousand eight hundred. Okay, so starting from a hundred. Where do we land? Plus oh. one. Plus one. Minus two. Gone. Plus one. Plus two. Minus two. Minus one. <laughs> Minus this one. Is so stupid. <laughs> Nothing. 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 Minus three. Oh, he's at minus three right minus now. Minus one. four right now. Plus one. Plus two. Minus one. Nothing. Plus two. Minus two. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, leading the minds. Plus two. Plus two. Uh oh. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, plus God! Two. Minus two. <sighs> Quick deletion. Plus one. Minus two. I think we're going down, guys. We're going down a lot. Plus one. He's definitely double-clicked on some of those. Plus two. Every time he re-highlights it, he's, he's accidentally rolling plus it twice. Two. The ones that nothing happens. <laughs> Minus two. Yeah. Plus one. Nothing. I guess we can go again on the twos later. Okay, plus two. Nothing. Minus two. Ah! Oh, this dude's like nothing. down seven cards right now. Nothing again. Minus two. Minus two. <laughs> minus oh, two. God. The streak. <laughs> minus one again. Just call it after that. You see what he whispered? Plus two. Don't re-go on the twos. Just call it after that. Okay. Plus one. Plus one. <sighs> Minus two. I think we lost for sure, right? Okay. Let's put them together. <clears throat> Wait, I, I'll put them together in a tab. Did we did we go up or down? Oh. We definitely went down. Uh, we seven. What'd I say? Eight. Minus eight. Eight, right? Oh, yeah, eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, close. But yeah, minus uh. <laughs> better than I thought. All right. Well, that that hurts. Thank you, sir. Minus four hundred sixty-eight divines. <laughs> Jesus, thank Bro. you. Bro, I thought you were gonna go happened? again. I don't know. We're just uh, I just work here, man.
I just work here, man. Alright, are we going for unhinged or, or, or serious mechanics? Oh, jeez. Up to you. This, that's already unhinged. Unhinged? That's already unhinged. That's crazy. Yeah, just minus 400 divines. <laughs> I would have taken them for free. If you want free. to delete them, just give them to me. <laughs> yeah, if anybody wants to gamble their shit, just let me know. If I if I disappear off live, you know, it's because it failed. <laughs> oh. Sergog. You know, it's every other Pathfinder streamer all Mr. has Mr. their uh, right. cam in the same spot. Customize and save with Liberty Mutual. Well, yeah, because it's it when blocks the stakes the are high at work, your tone yeah. matters. Grammarly's advanced tone suggestions can help. Oh, howdy, y'all. Grab yourself a drink. It is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today, on Grab yourself a drink. A strategy that I believe is pretty beginner friendly and is something that I was doing during the recent player run event, Badger Private League. This is farming divination cards in maps using abysses in order to multiply your loot. Now, Badger Private League is a player run event with some odd rules, and that's the reason that you'll see that I have Metamorph and Elva on my atlas. What you need for this strategy to work is the Northern Abyss crack in its entirety, the Abyssal Army node towards the centre that provides increased number of monsters per Abyss, that's very important, and the South Cluster that increases the chances of finding an Abyss at random. That's all you need. After that, some of the other mechanics you might want to spec into, you go with Shrines, you go with Strong Boxes, one thing yeah, I'll probably respect my Harbies. Well breach, and that's because Breach and Abyss are on the same side of the tree, and both of them add a lot of monsters to the map. And that's our goal here. We are looking to multiply loot in three different ways, all of which stack. The first one is through the use of Divination Scarabs. Yeah, yeah. A Rusted Divination Scarab is a 50% more multiplier to the amount of Divination cards that drop in your maps. A Polished Scarab, 100% more. A Gilded Scarab, 150% more, and the very expensive Winged Scarabs are a 250% more multiplier to your Div cards. In practice, as this is a more introductory strategy and a low investment strategy, I'm going to recommend that you stick to the Rusted and maybe Polished Scarabs here. Then we're going to be using the Abyss Passive Tree Support. What this is doing is it's about adding more monsters on average to every Abyss that we find. Then we're going to be using an Abyss Scarab to get potentially a little bit more of that stat if we use a Polished or Higher Scarab. But additionally, we're going to be using it in order to increase the number of abysses that we get per map. Instead of getting roughly one abyss every second map, we're going to be getting one abyss every map and a second abyss in about every second map. So this is three different layers of more multipliers here. Abysses per map, monsters per abyss, and divination card drops per monster. These all multiply together. Don't forget about beyond. The core of the strategy. You'll notice in the background footage, I'm running on the other side of the trees here. We'll get to why it's terrace maps in a second. Oh yeah, but you can spec down the left side. That's what I'm doing now. League, but it was perfect for the Badger Private League event. And still hit all the I'm abyss stuff? every divination card that drops. That's a good question. Now, there's been a bunch of testing that's been done in the last year on divination card drop rates. I'll put a link down in the description of the video below to Poor Fishwife's excellent research on this. And also I'll put a link down in the description again to my video on what I believe to be the biggest player discoveries about Path of Exile in 2022. That also discusses this research. Now, this research was done in 3.18, and some things have changed since then. For example, the drop rate of Humility, the divination card for Tabula Rasa, has unquestionably been nerfed, and it's been nerfed hard. However, it seems like it's only divination card drop rates for unique items that have been nerfed or buffed in this period. So, for example, Humility... How old is this video? What league was this? The Thaumaturgist, a divination card ago. for a one Well, no, this is from this morning. Revelation ring. This is uh. much more common than it used to be. The Spark and the Flame, Divination Card for Beric's Respite, much more common than it used to be. So the unique ones have all been reshuffled, but the ones for other things, and that's everything you're going to see in Terrace Map, they're pretty much unchanged. Now, Poor Fishwife's findings were that the drop weighting of Emperor's Luck is about 50,000, for Rain Tempter, about 12,000, for Her Mask, about 10,000, and for the Porcupine, about 4,000. Now, what this means is that for every 18 of the common undesirable cards you get, you would on average get about one porcupine. And this matched my experience in Badger Private League, where I was picking up every copy of the Emperor's Luck for a while and tracking them against the number of porcupines that I got, and it was pretty close to a 25 to 2 ratio, as per Fishwife's predictions. So like a 1 in 15? Will you get if you do this? Or a 1 in, uh, one in now, 12? If you run no scarabs, you can expect to get about one porcupine card every five maps, using the atlas that you see me running with here. That includes a shrine in every map, 
and an abyss in every second map or so. If you're chasing a different card instead of the porcupine, you can divide 20,000 by that card's weighting, and it'll give you a bit of an estimate as to how many maps on average it'll take you to find that card. For example, Pause real quick. For Prodigy, which is an excellent divination card to chase for a C. Let's take a look at what the back. the Doctor Wait Chance Path of Exile. Chasing a different card instead of the porcupine, you can divide twenty thousand by that card's weighting, and it'll give you a bit of an estimate as to how many twenty thousand divided by whatever the doctor's weighting is. Uh, did they not put the doctor in this entire waiting that they're talking about? Oh, for the spreadsheet. Uh, estimated weight 29. 20,000 divided by 29. Divided by? And that's, what does that number represent? You'll find one in about every 689 maps if you're using his, his atlas. Yikes. That's not good. It's very rare. But this is assuming one map, like, per minute or so. Speed mapping. <laughs> so, probably like... 689 maps to drop a single doctor? That seems a little excessive. I feel like we can do a little better. Yeah, it's pretty rare. One in one in seven hundred almost maps. Yeah, almost. That's 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 crazy rare. For example, the Dapper Prodigy, which is an excellent divination card to chase for a six link chest armor that is item level one hundred. This divination card has a weight somewhere in the vicinity of twenty five hundred, so you can expect to find one about every eight maps. Now, with a rusted divination scarab and a polished abyss scarab, it's been my experience that you get a little bit less than double the base amount of divination cards. With a polished Abyss Scarab, but still staying with the Rusted Divination Scarab, which is the most budget-friendly setup you can go with, this will get you a little bit less than triple the base map Divination card drops. And then if you decide to go to Polished and Polished, you get a little bit less than quad. Okay, so that makes it better. So if you, it's 1 in 700, but if you're using a Rusted Scarab every map, you can divide it by 3 almost. So it's like 1 in 250. Okay, and then if you're using a Winged? If you're using, don't, don't even go there. If you're yeah. Using, you know, Drupal, somewhere between three and a half and four times the standard number of divination cards you'd get. One thing may seem like a logical next step here, and that is going up to gilded or winged divination scarabs. The thing is that those are in really hot demand from other players at the moment, and they're also something that in SSF you might want to hold off until you can do an ultra juice mapping strategy. So I'd generally say hold on to those for the time being. That said, if you are in a large group with other players and those other players all agree that the tile set specific divination cards belong to you, Oh, okay. You might decide that it is worth your while using a gilded divination scarab or a winged divination scarab, and that's because extra players are a loot multiplier. What divination cards should you be chasing? Now, I'm chasing the porcupine here. It's what I was doing in Badger Private League. It was what my team needed me to do in order to help gear up our players. However, if you're playing in a mature trade league, there is pretty much one right choice as to a divination card to chase now, and that is the apothecary. When you compare it to potentially farm-worthy, more common cards like the Porcupine, the Apothecary is somewhere in the 400 to 800 times rarer range than these cards, but it's often 5,000 times as valuable. The Apothecary is only twice as rare as the Soul, we believe now since 3.20, but it's 30 times the value. It's about 100 times as rare, I think, as the Patient, but about 300 or more times as valuable, etc., etc. Ultimately, the Apothecary simply gives you the best bang for your buck. Even though it's an extremely rare drop, even though the vast majority of play sessions you won't get lucky and find an Apothecary, the chance of getting one is still high enough to warrant doing it over pretty much anything else. Now there are four maps that can drop the Apothecary, although they won't all be on the Atlas in any given league. These are Crimson Temple, Crimson Township, Defile Cathedral, and Haunted Mansion. The Apothecary is also drop restricted at level 75 plus. What this means is that you can only get an Apothecary drop if the monster drops item level 75 or above loot. This is oh, so I have to do red maps for the headhunter. In level 73 and higher zones, so tier 6 and up. It is every magic monster in tier 7 and up zones, and it is every single monster in tier 8 and up zones. 
For example, one of the oh, okay, maybe not. we've got in 3.20 is a one void stone atlas with Haunted Mansion, in which case Haunted Mansion will be a tier 9 map, and therefore every monster in the tile set can drop it. But I'll leave it up to you as to which of these specific maps you elect to run. Go with the one you find the most fun. And this is going to remain the case until GGG close the gap between Mage Blood and everything else that you could put in the belt slot. Headhunter is often competitive for some uses, but Mage Blood is just more powerful all around. And the best are the belts. Things like Deity and Dawn, Darkness Enthroned, or a really, really well rolled rare Stygian Vice. None of these can hold a candle to the power of Mage Blood. And that's a real problem because it means that Mage Blood farming is simply the best use of rare consumables like Gilded and Above Divination Scarabs. But you can definitely use this strategy to chase Apothecary cards and give yourself a much better chance of getting them than Elk and Go. Now let's say you wanted to take this up to the moon. Let's say that you wanted to scale this strategy far, far, far further than you've seen in this video. How would you go about doing it? In this situation, I would change the Atlas to include three mechanics. You still want all the Abyss content that we were discussing. You want all and the breach. Content. And then the third thing you want is either the Delirium Mirror or Delirium Layers. You're going to pick one of those two, and then the rest of your investment is going to be dictated by which one you chose. If you chose to go with the Delirium Mirror, then you're going to be using the Kirak mod to force Delirium on maps that you run. And if you chose to go with the Delirium Layers approach, you're instead going to want to apply five Delirium mobs to the maps that you're running. Obviously, this will require a super powerful character. And then you're going to want to upgrade your Scarabs to Gilded or Winged, and throw a Breach Scarab in there, and potentially some other mechanic as well. Delirium's really good as an additional source of more monsters on the map, and also as somewhat of a loot multiplier, and it has its own rewards as well. So that would be how I would scale this strategy up to the moon, if that's what you want to do. But you don't Interesting. need to do that for it to be effective. Anyways, that oh, is right. the In your case, because you're streaming and make, making content map. videos out of it, you're going to want to see drops and not, ha like, run apothecaries for a week and find one yeah so over the course of a week you could you could probably find a few um doctors oh yeah we'll be trying we'll be trying gotta um, find a bunch dude i hope you do i want to <laughs> see those reactions i want to we see gotta that. we gotta fix the build fix the build get that void stone maybe get a void stone you get some currency you know you got a, any ideas i got like two div left no, I'm kidding. I have like, <laughs> I don't know, I have like nine div left. Yeah, see, so you get some currency. That's it's a, a little bit. It's a little bit. Well, I'm already upgraded. That's the thing is we spent so much currency switching back to infinite leeching. Right now, what I need is levels. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Just levels. So maybe buy a five way today. We'll see what happens. Get two five ways. Get up to like level 95 or something. Well, I'm also going to have to buy a bunch of Orbs of Unmaking in order to respect my Atlas for this. And to respect it back. Ooh. Yeah, it's expensive. Plus whatever we end up spending on getting a bunch of Burial Chambers. Burial Chambers. Well, you don't have to buy the expensive ones now. We know you can get like tier 9s or whatever. Yeah. I think mine are currently tier 7 though. Oh, yeah. Which sucks, because so I mean, mean most of the drop. ones we already have, we can't use. Yeah, it, it doesn't mean it won't drop, it just means that it'll only drop from rares. Yeah, but I'm not going to waste a bunch of juicing materials on monsters yeah. that can't drop it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'll, still, I'll still run them, just for fun, but those will probably be the Elk and Go. <clears throat> Alright, let's get into some funny shit here. Alright, what do you got? Michael, Michael Jackson. Cool the way you mix it up like this, uh huh. Dude, making everybody be like, I need you. Salute, come on, been around the world a time or two, and never seen anything quite like you. Now you got everybody trying to. Sorry to interrupt. Are you okay? I need to get out. Yup, that's me. I've been learning boxing recently, and aside from the brain damage, it's it's gone pretty good. I've been a little slow to pick it up, maybe on account of of all the brain damage. But first of all, do you know who this guy is? No. Michael Reeves. He's he's one of uh offline TV with disguised toast and Lily Peach. Oh yeah yeah yeah. He's always in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he uh but he has taught himself a ton of like programming and engineering, and. Mm -hmm. He even has a video where he talks about how he used to like just go into Harvard classes and sit there and for free because they don't check. They just you can just walk in there and watch. 
Mm-hmm. So he would just go in there and take classes for free and learn. <laughs> Easy. Easy. We have more important questions to ask, like where am I? Why am I learning to box? And where am I? A couple months ago, Idubs asked me if I wanted to be part oh, of the Oh yeah, I, can. I know him with the glasses. Crater Clash? No, no I don't, is what I thought in my head. But for a second, the surrealness of the situation overwhelmed me. I've been watching Idubs since I was in like middle school and he was asking me to do a boxing tournament. It may as well have been a, like a mass hallucination for all I was aware. And I, I, I just said yes. So I am uh, guess I'm doing it. Uh, the only problem Problem is I am really, really, really bad at boxing. So don't know what I'm gonna do about that. This is what we're gonna use. It's called a tens unit. It's meant to treat like pain in old people, but if you crank it all the way up, it makes you involuntarily flex whatever muscles it's attached to. So let me show you how we're gonna use it. If you look, Ooh. a single tens unit can't do much. It can only really he make caught his camera wow. at a time. But if I strap a whole bunch of them to different arm muscles and activate them at just the right times, it will force me to punch so I can train for my boxing match without even thinking about it. So first, we gotta figure out how to control these guys with the computer. Because the way it normally works is you twist these little tens unit uh, nipples with your fingers, but we can't just have someone standing here doing that the whole time. So let's take it apart and see how it works. It turns out that what's under the dials is not nipples, but potentiometers, the nipples of electronics. The way these guys work is they limit the flow of electricity going through them based on how much you turn this little dial. It's kind of like, uh, like a sink. The more you turn the faucet on, the more electrons can flow through the pipes. Now you might be wondering how that potentiometer works with the rest of the circuit as a whole. I don't know. Nope, makes sense know. to me. I didn't go to school for electrical engineering. I didn't go to school for anything. That's where this guy comes in. This is a digital potentiometer. It does the same thing a potentiometer does, but you can control it with code. And bing bang boom, now we should be able to control the TENS unit with a shitty, bitty piece of software that just says to turn the resistance way down. Oh my god, that's so weird. Uh, on? <laughs> I'm not moving my, well I am moving my arm, but like, I'm not trying to move my arm. Oh, <laughs> uh, what were we doing? Boxing. Boxing, right. The next step was to research the biokinematics of the human body so that I could program this is the TENS nuts. to train me for my fight. <laughs> Which muscles are used? When should they be activated? To answer this, we'll study anatomy, physiology, and oh, never mind. Turns out you just have to shock yourself all over your body, testing different muscles, and write down what happens. <laughs> These are the four muscles you need for a punch, all right? So bicep first, you know, get the arm up. And then deltoid to bring your shoulder into the mix. But you can't just be doing that. You gotta mix in the pack. So it brings the arm in like that, right? Prime punching position. Then you cancel bicep. I turned it up on accident. You cancel bicep and then hit him with the tricep and bang. <laughs> ah, and it looks like that. It looks like that's it. That's a punch. That's Whoa, slow down there, bucko. Are you turning the dials manually? That's a bit cringe, isn't it? Come on, guy. Let's write some code <laughs> to automate that. It'll be easy. Start with a little user interface. Just somewhere to customize the timings of your moves. That was easy, right? It only took six, six days. Took a little longer than expected. That's okay. But this is going to need a backup, <laughs> like a server to talk to the front end. A little library up here. A little post request down here. Now you need another server to process those moves. This server will live on the Raspberry Pi and control the outputs of the TENS units based on the move data that it gets from the other server. But then of course, you need another piece of software to control all of this stuff, right? So the client connects to the tenth control server and then the tenth control server All right, everything's hooked up. Let's see if it works. What? What? Oh, the tricep and bicep were firing at the same time. So instead of like doing this or this, it was just locking the arm and the muscles were trying to pull themselves off of my bones. So we'll make it not ah. do that. Ah, yes. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Holy fuck. Did you see that? Oh. Oh, that almost went through the fucking bag. Must have been five or six kilometers an hour. <laughs> yeah! Yes! Yes! <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. I'm gonna be a boxing guy. Oh, I'm gonna fucking lose. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> A little asthma for you, a little JOI, if you know what I mean. All right, I hooked up this Xbox huh? controller to be able to control me, and I've been working on this like Rock'em Sock'em Robot type game for like a visual indicator. So when the guy punches in the game, it. 
and punches in real life. But then that got me thinking, it would be better for my training if I was fighting someone, like in Rock'em Sock'em Robots. And it would be cool if you could move the players forward and backwards with a controller, like in Rock'em Sock'em Robots. But for that, we would need two human-sized moving platforms on a rail system, like this one that I built. I could explain how the pistons- <laughs> <and the laughs> Like this one! But the video is getting kind of boring. So, controller, press joystick on controller, make- <laughs> 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 Now, realistically, we'll have someone else controlling us because our arm is going to be scrapped and we're going to be punching. Oh, I heard I'm going to invite some friends over to test this thing out. I'll probably Yo, have to lie what? to them about what it is. <laughs> Who's gullible enough to believe me? Jesus Christ. I said it was a boxing robot. You are the boxing robot. Um, it's you. Oh, hey, guys. Course. We're going to have to strap a lot of wires on you. <laughs> How did you make Oh, Worst case scenario, you step down here and it slices her Achilles. Ooh. But that's alright. You, you Worst case, yeah. I'm so excited to see how good it's going. Above the chest is like not good because he'll heart. <laughs> he'll oh, heart. Dude. Which side's the heart on? Left here. Yeah, yeah, that's probably fine. <laughs> I think you're ready. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, okay, uh, Yo, control, what? Look at this guy. A, and your heavy attack is B. Does the heavy attack hurt them more when you use it? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> movement is your left analog stick. This? Yeah, so you're controlling. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, the fucking seatbelt exploded. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a seatbelt explode like that before. You guys ready to do some punching? You guys ready to train? You gotta train for boxing, right? You can just start fighting. Can we really, like, ease them in? One of you just hit A. Oh! Wait, what? 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 I mean, it was like I was possessed. So are you ready for a no, power attack? Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Things are really Dude. heating up in the FTX arena. Dude, brought to what you by the hell? FaZe Clan and Juicero. I did a thing versus Boy Boy. Who will come out on top? Three, two, one, fight. Happy New Year, Michael's Rewards. Oh, oh come on. Bonus reward to kickstart the date of 2023. Once you meet with a turbo Smart. tax expert who will do your taxes for you, you're free to do not taxes. The machine is Dude's an evil I genius. I, I think. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> all right, all right, pause. Right, Dude, we should make a safe word. I realize we should make a safe word. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. And yeah, there are a couple things to work out, but that's how innovation is done. You're looking at the future of boxing. Oh, this one's really close, actually. <laughs> I can't believe how well it works. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel about your boxing form? Well, I like my left. Yeah. Like, you did well on the left. You landed some yeah. good headshots. <laughs> I feel like a boxer. I feel like a boxer, <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. You don't even need to focus on your form when someone else can do it for you. I, I would like to get off this thing, though. <laughs> Just wanna, wanna... With the machine working better than I ever hoped, it was time for me to try it out. Not being strapped in, it's still incredibly dangerous. I'm gonna try the controller. Who wants me and who wants Michael? I don't want Michael. <laughs> Come on! Fucking jab, Nigel! Come on, yeah! That was a good offense on that one. Yeah, right attack. No what? dick shot. Dick shot. <laughs> I'm going for a spear attack. I'm going, for a, I'm going for heavy attack. Yeah. And listen, the controller is awesome, but weirdly they wanted to stop, so it's my turn next. Ready for my boxing training? I think it's smart to have a larger opponent so that you're ready for your match. <laughs> oh, what you mean? You press it twice, huh? You press it. Yeah, you press it. It's hard to describe what this feels like. It's kind of like a hundred bees working together to control your arm, which is what I assume boxing feels like. So I think this is good practice for my fight. <laughs> who, who, won, who won that round? Holy shit! I'm gonna go limp. You got great form there, Michael. This is looking really good. <laughs> And with my boxing training nearly complete, it's time to invite over my coach to show him my progress. How's it going? This is my coach, Michael Quick. He's a professional boxer and has been overseeing my training for the past five months. But with any luck, my machine will phase out the need for a human coach. But then this will like force your muscles to come up. You know what I mean? <sighs> That's this guy's toast. <laughs> Clearly terrified yeah, of this machine, I'm going to prove its effectiveness to my this coach by crazy. facing my biggest opponent yet. Coach, I don't know about this coach. He's kind of got a lot of height on me. We're gonna fuck him up. That's true. We're gonna go height doesn't mean shit. 
height does in fact mean shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Coach, what the fuck are you doing? We're going for the kill. Fuck! I'm not even close to it. I'm getting the hang of the controls. He was getting a hang of the controls. In fact, I'm convinced he forgot that he wasn't playing a video game. Oh shit! He pressed like so many buttons. But then it clicked. Get on. <laughs> it took me three hours to edit that. Do you think this is a that, that was prime editing for boxers? Prime editing. <laughs> That's right. He's so impressed that he can't even summon words. Now it's time to ask him the most important question of all. Do you think I'm ready for Creator Clash? Fuck yeah, dude. Perfect. Because at this point, Creator Clash was only five days away. So I packed my bags, headed to the airport, and got on a flight. <laughs> the lunchbox. Dude, that's fucking dude, gold, dude. There's supposed to be dude. footage here, but... Oh, shit. Me. The thought of the fight was really setting in at this point. I was getting really scared. Like, I've never done anything like that. It's... Like, it just became so real once I landed that I, I just stopped doing stuff. And the night of the fight came up fast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to sunny Tampa, Florida. We're bringing it to you in 2022 for the Creator Clash. I wasn't really talking to anyone. I was just sitting and watching all the other fights on the TV. And that was making it way worse. I was getting really nervous. Mine was coming soon, so I started getting warmed up. And I was fully zoned out. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. It didn't really matter. I was, no, I was actually like, really good form, though. The prep room. And I had to get interviewed and warm up the camera. And I was just pacing around the room so much, like a goblin. How do you feel? I feel better. Better than a little earlier. Mm -hmm. Some of the other fights are scary, but, you know, I'm all right. But then the guy came in, and he walked me over to the arena, and then it was time to fight. It's a fine grind, clearing out my cash line, speeding up my ram time, coordinated light lines. Oh, oh nice! Some hits in. Seems like a little bit. Why didn't I know about this? Yeah, right? What the hell? Ooh! That is the face of someone who never has to do boxing ever again. I was so fucking glad for it to be over. And God bless my opponent, my friend Graham, who I know is just as nervous as I was, still got in the ring and still hit me in the face a bunch of times. Also, bonus, <laughs> I won. And yeah, maybe it's because I had a Golden Gloves winning coach come over to my house six times a week and train me. Maybe it's because he made me eat chicken and rice every fucking day. Maybe it's because he made me run up a goddamn mountain. Chicken and rice, that's the meal, bro, all coach, the time. And a great friend. But I'm pretty sure it's because of the boxing robot. Look at this thing. Look how fucking sick this thing looks. <laughs> Thanks for watching this the video. I'm wearing a mask fucking... the garage just flooded, and I'm pretty sure there's mold growing in the walls. I wouldn't worry about it. Anyway, if you like the video, like it. If you didn't, dislike it. It's not like we can see those anymore. And thanks again for watching me box. I am done with boxing forever until the end of eternity, but some say future YouTube boxers are using this breakthrough technology to train, to practice, to prepare for the next- The garage clothes shot, dude. What a well-made video. There. I was just on my way to deliver the best Christmas present of them all. That's right, a sponsorship read to you by a shitty YouTuber on the internet. What's this? Whoa, it's ExpressVPN. Have you ever been on Starbucks Wi-Fi? You could be looking for porn, you could not be looking for porn. But you <laughs> see this, it's fucking Minesweeper, but for Wi-Fi networks. But instead of exploding, the mines take your credit card information. These fake Wi-Fi networks are really easy for an attacker to set up. All it takes is some cheap equipment. And once you connect, the person controlling the network can run attacks to grab info from you, like account logins, passwords, credit cards. That's why it helps to have the ExpressVPN app. It encrypts all of your network traffic so that you don't have to worry about anyone seeing your information, even if you're on like a sketchy Wi-Fi network network. You just bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, good. On top of that, ExpressVPN can change your online location, which can give you access to thousands more TV shows that aren't allowed in your country. So if I switch to India, I can watch season three of Demon Slayer, which isn't out in the US yet, or huh? I could watch Squid Games. Or if I switch to Japan, I can huh? see a bunch more recent anime, or watch Squid Games. Or I could be in Canada and watch our Squid Games from Canada. Watching Netflix without <laughs> ExpressVPN is like hiring a prostitute, but only being allowed to talk to them all night. And you're already paying full price for Netflix. Why not see all it has to offer? So if any of that sounds good to you, go to Express expressvpn.com wow. slash reads to see how you can get three months for free. That's the end of the video.
complication. Dude, wait a second, Nick. You're like, wait a second. Express VPN seems like Ooh. Well, I have a VPN, but I didn't know uh I didn't know Demon Slayer was the new season was out in India already. You're like, huh, maybe I should go over. Alright, so we playing some PoE, huh? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Why you got more? No. Gotta start getting got ready. To, I got up to the part where they like got in the uh, the boxing robot, and I was mm -hmm. like, no way, nope, I'm done. Dude, that's that's <laughs> fucking awesome, dude. What a good video. It took me three hours to edit that. That's me, like, but with everything. <laughs> Bruh, three hours for ten seconds of content. I can appreciate that. All <laughs> right, we have nine div. Let's uh go to TF tape. Yeah. Uh, Sanctum Services. Sanctum Services. Are people not running them? Check the name of the person you want to join the group of before trading. Check in the party if there are no low-level players. Only trade the host. Double-check their name from now on. As a client, you may be held responsible if you don't check who you're trading with. Yeah, okay. Are you in Sanctum Services? Yeah, Sanctum Services. That's for five-way hosting, though. I don't see so... anything else. Sanctum Sanctum for Service. Oh, here. Sanctum services want to sell. Maybe Five Way is an, an active one. Services want to sell. Uh. Aisling, Aisling, Hillick. These all just. Hold on. First of all, we need some music. I don't see any five ways. Do you? Uh, let me check again. Here, I'm gonna ask you in a uh, trade. React with the book emoji on that thing that says five way hosting deploy. Oh. <clears throat> Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Looks like the standard price is three divs. Six runs. Six runs. Okay. Okay. Trying to find it. Uh, to get the roll, when do I get the roll? You gotta click the book emoji. I did. And then you got it. Now switch over to the other, the five way hosting SSC. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! Me. Today at 9.44. Oh, that's right now. I wanna sell Softcore five ways AFK run. Five divines, ten runs. Is that worth it? Free run if the carry dies, slash DCs before one minute. They even give you the, the copy and paste in game. I know, I'm trying to copy it, but it's. One div, two runs. Keeps moving. 
Ten runs is a long time. Each run's five minutes. That's a, an hour of runs. Yeah. That's a lot of runs. That's like two div four runs. Yeah. That one works. Looks like they're all proportional. Am I paying him up front or after the five ways? Because he doesn't say. Okay, as you say, free run if I die before one minute. And who oh, did I whisper? Die. More auras cry more. They should have an aura bot though, so you just stand next to the aura bot. He said, too soon to trade, still need more. Okay. So he's waiting for a full party. He'll probably trade you. What is he playing, a Deadeye? Uh, he's playing a Scion. Interesting. Unless he's so the Aurobot. He might be the Aurobot. That's, that's who made the post, though. Is there a Deadeye in the party? There is two, yes, currently. Are either of them level 100? 90% all res, minus 40 chaos res. Yeah, you better uh, get a chaos blast. I have one. And it brings me to 3% chaos res. You got some chaos gear you can put on? No, why, do you have a shav still? I do, I do, hold on. Right. How many people in the party? Uh, I will meet you in my hideout. to whisper you oh there it is word thank you sir that doesn't make you chaos immune no I know reduce chaos damage taken too that'll that'll be fine how much ES is the Orbot giving me not a lot uh, I have 1,500 while wearing the chefs. Oh, so I'm at five, 5k life. Okay, but you have to remember that. 1,500 is a lot. My character in standard is not the, <laughs> the expectation. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're using a Nimbus. Nimbus or however it's pronounced. But they are. Oh, so the guy who posted it on TFT is not the host. He's the Orobot. That's fine. I know, but I almost traded him, and he even told the party, like, only trade me.
I'm also socketing in my uh, what's it called? Just just the single cyclone gem as a just in case. I mean, you're allowed to attack. In oh, I thought most people didn't want you to. That's only in maps because in this it's fun. In maps, they don't want you to because they're worried about quant. There's there's no they're not worried about drops in this. Just don't move away from the aura block. Like, attack uh, in place if there's enemies on you. Yeah, my, um... Game is, like, running slow. This I, I'm not even that worried. Are you in it yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. How's your HP look? Untouched. The whole screen is exploding. Okay, nice. This, this Deadeye is crazy, yeah, and actually, this is probably the safest I've felt in a fucking <laughs> five way. <laughs> I wonder if he's doing kinetic blast. I mean, you can see it on the stream if you want to. Ah, I can. Hold on, let me open it up. I'm just throwing a little bit, don't mind me. Oh yeah, that's kinetic blast. <laughs> I've never felt this safe. <laughs> Bro, the entire screen. He was like on the opposite side of the uh the the circle, and it was still blowing up like this. Yeah. Like that, like that, yeah. It like it chains to everything. Word, I leveled. Things can't even stay alive long enough to attack. This is kind of nuts. Is this the guy that was too deep for four runs? Yeah. Okay. So if you're satisfied, get another four runs. I might for two div. I currently need, I think, two more levels. Cause they put a point here, and then I took. And then I took this accuracy point up here, but yeah, I just need, uh, two more levels. Dude, without that Shavs, you'd probably be dead. I think you'd probably die. I haven't seen Actually, my no, health even move, to be honest. Yeah, I guess I don't know because the things are just instantly dying. Is this just right click simulator for him? Yeah. That's disgusting, dude, honestly. I'll take it though. Is he, is he going around the map? No, he's standing right here. Oh, yeah, it's right Right next to all of us. <laughs> That's it. Nimmies. Wow, I finally took damage, and it was only like 1k. There it is, there's two! Two levels? Two levels. Hey, easy. Man. Need one more. Only one run so far. I know, facts. I, I'm not even gonna need the others. I might go buy a five-way. Dude, this is the guy. This is probably the actual only like AFK one I've ever had. Kinetic blast, dead eye. This build is disgusting, I will tell you that. And this is st this is a uh, sank not even a legacy tech. I know, right? Sheesh.
What's the XP an hour? 128 mil? 128 mil XP an hour? Crazy. This is all in preparation of burial chambers. That just told me I unlocked a favored map slot. Yeah, because you finished For a five-way? Yeah. All right, got two levels out of one five-way. Next. Yes, sir. I'm also going to see if there's anything here they don't want. Sure to get back in time they probably want to speed run them yeah oh yeah yeah they do yeah i should have just picked those up I'm also leveling all these wonderful gems in my offhand. <laughs> Easy. They're all level 18 already too. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need to buy a second one. I'm already almost leveled again. Which will give me enough for my cluster jewel. If anybody is watching, I can't see my viewer count anymore, but if anybody's watching wondering what we're doing, we are preparing our tree. Uh, Monday, we're going to start our Burial Chambers runs. Uh, we, we just did the Primeval Hideout uh, la earlier this week. That video is dropping this weekend for those who weren't here for it. Uh, but we're going to be running Burial Chambers uh, Monday through Friday next week. Uh, early spot, we're on stream, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we're going to try and drop as many doctors as we can. But in order to do that, we're putting actual effort into our strategy because it's not just run whatever tier like it was trying to get the primeval hideout. We're going to have to actually juice. We're going to have to be able to sustain that juice. So right now I'm buying five ways to just crank through the levels I need to get to where I'm at in POB. And from where I'm at in POB, I should be able to do juice 16s a little bit easier. But we're going to be going, I'm pretty sure, with uh, Breach. Um... Breach, Abyss, and Beyond, uh, as well as Delhi Orbs and Scarabs. It's going to be a big project. I'm not sure how many we're going to be able to afford at that level, but... We'll take it. Currently, we're up three levels already, which is enough for where we needed to be. We have two more runs for free, so we're just going to take them. Ooh, someone just dropped the level 21 lightning tendrils.
Yeah, the rest of the currency is going to be going to upgrades to the build and map materials. This feels like a lot more XP than I got in the last couple of five ways. Yeah, the reason is because five ways this league are killing way more enemies than previously. Are they really? Because of the minis, yeah. I'm gonna be up to like four. Like four levels off two runs. Just imagine yeah, ten runs, I'd be at level 100. Maybe not actually, but... <clears throat> Once you're at level 99, it probably takes like 20 or 25 runs. Still, you think? Wow. Yeah. Expensive. I spent like 50 Oh yeah. X on my level 99 to get to level 100. <sighs> yeah, I feel like you gotta. You probably like. I'm the type of person where I'd be like, nah, I gotta get to level 100 myself at least. And then I'd get to like 20% experience on the bar, die, and immediately be like, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> uh, never mind. I just spent you know eight what? hours on 10% XP. Nah. Yeah, right. I mean, we're already 93, getting ready to be at 94. Second run in. I'm wondering if we can hit 95 on the third run and 96 on the fourth. That'd be crazy. Ooh, wow, first chaos effect. That's the first time I've had any sort of, like, threat to my health. Big chaos hit? Not a big chaos hit. You know those like spheres that like detonate over you and make, uh, what's it called? Wow. I was hoping he'd drop more incubators. They didn't pick up any inc incubators last time, so I wanted to pick them up, put them on, and see what happens. Incubators? Yeah. See if we could drop anything good from free incubators. I mean, they'll definitely detonate by the time he finishes three runs. Immediately flashed going crazy. Dude, gotta love a five way. Gotta love a good five way. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna have a host a five way when I'm in Vegas and we'll see what people think I mean. Huh? Huh? <laughs> They're all level 19. If these all hit level 20, you want? That'd be great. If you go down this trip and you're just like talking to people with a microphone, you're like, alright, ladies, we're hosting five ways tonight. You win. Yeah, like, hey, yo, uh, uh, I'm hosting a five way at the hotel. It's, it's, one div for three runs, and they'll be like, what? They'll be like, do you have the runs? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Matt, that's not what that means! <laughs> well, <laughs> shit. Matt, do you have the runs? The Matt? <laughs> Fucking Matt. Oh, did I not tell you that story? No. Oh my god, so there was one time back in high school. Uh... Matt went to a different school, but he met me at the high school, and he's like, yeah, we'll walk back to my house and we'll hang out. And I was like, yeah, cool, we're walking back. And there's these, these two, you know, wonderful-looking ladies in front of us, and uh, me and Matt are walking behind him, and just real loud, he goes, 
Dude, I fucking hate this weather. I've got the runs. Like, mad loud. They turn around, start walking a little faster. I was like, dude, what the fuck? Why would you say that? He's like, what, dude? My nose is running. And I was like, that's not what that means. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what that means. <laughs> yeah, really, dude. He thought having the runs, but you had a runny nose. Silly Matt. I know, right? <laughs> Those girls are probably like, dude, what the fuck is up with that kid? Wow, I'm actually taking damage. Yeah, we're plus four levels already. Wild, dude. You're at 93? I'm at 94. What the hell? I'm 94 right now. Bro, I was level 90 when we started this. Five ways go burr. Yeah, this is way more XP than I was getting from five ways before. Four runs would have been like two levels, 92 to 94. Yeah, dude, ninjas are kind of crazy. The mage blood at home feels real good. Oh, you're not even using it. You're not critting. I'm not critting, but it's still detonating like over and over and over. Damn, are we gonna hit 95 on run three? Am I about to buy five ways? <laughs> right? Imagine if I had bought 10 runs, what the fuck? <laughs> Imagine if I had the runs. Imagine if I had the runs. Dude, Matt is... I know, dude. He, I have to run. Ah. he used to be the most awkward person I've ever met in my life, and to this day, I think he still might be. Don't get me wrong, he's come a long way, but he's still an awkward dude. I kind of want to go make a coffee while I'm running this five way, but that'll be the one time I come back and I'll be dead. Like what? Like, ah, crap. Maybe I'll do it on the last one. Cause we're already over the level we needed for the POB. Dude, I just got a hologram masters.
Yeah, that's not good. That's a hall, yeah. Hologram master, yeah. Crazy. And all of power. Nice. Harvey Orb. We're going to do it. We're going to hit 95. This is going to be the most I've had for levels in a league, ever. I think the rest of them have gotten to like 70, 80, maybe one got to like 90. And no, actually I don't even think I've ever had a build to get to 90 in league. Who would have thought it would be a melee build? Of all things, a melee build, right? Like. There it is, 95. And we are back. How's the five way? 95. Are you serious, dude? Yeah, dude, 90 to 95 in four runs. And it, this this run is still going. We got three minutes left. Oh, did you pay for another two? No. Oh, oh this is four it? for two div? Yeah, four for two div. This, this is run four out of four, and there's three minutes left. That's crazy. I know, dude. So much XP from this. Pretty solid two div spend. Five levels for two div, that's easy. Best two div uh, upgrade ever? Probably. That's a pretty good two div upgrade. Yeah, five skill points? I pay two div for five skill points all day, every day. You're right? I just take the whole skill tree at that point. You go into standard and have like a thousand div. Imagine if that was the thing. Allocates yeah. all points on the skill tree. Give me every point on the skill. I wonder what that would actually make your stats. You know what that would make your stats? That. that would make you... I mean, you gotta remember, you would be Eldritch Battery, battery chaos, chaos Inoculation. So, like, one life, don't get hit. Immune to damage, can't deal damage. You should do a, uh, a video on that. What if we allocated every node on the tree? I mean, what would we even do? Like, a POB style thing? Yeah. It's it's a build guide. <laughs> the, the everything build guide. Anoints all passives on the tree. Yeah, it's kind of nutty. Did you just finish your last run? No, about to though. Oh, this incubator might drop first. We're at 8.3k out of 9k. 35 seconds on the clock. Can he do it? That person better reset fast, boys. 
Oh, he does. He's using a uh, lightning warp to reset. There it is. Essences. There it is. Oh, I heard an X drop. Was it an X or a div? I heard an X drop. I heard Exalted Orb. Uh, Exalted Orb. I have the runs. Damn, those ladies. Find them for an interview. <laughs> what were you thinking that day? Right? All the scarabs? Fuck yeah, I'll take the scarabs. You gonna run another one or nah? No, no, no. That was four out of four. My spirit is spent. Not gonna do another four? No, I don't need it. I, I only needed three levels. So wait, is this now your highest level character? In League? Yeah, I was just saying that actually while you were making coffee. Ever. Your lightning arrow character is level 94, isn't it? You mute yourself? Me? No. Uh... Actually, is it? Is this my highest level character? Like, ever? I thought my lightning arrow was 96, but you might be right. Sheesh! I also, they didn't want this stuff, so like... I got some stuff. Hype. Here, I'm gonna apply all of these incubators to my stuff. Wow. I now have to get that medium cluster jewel. Yep. Uh, in Sanctum, and what is it? Um, what are the what are the two names of the passives? Five percent chance to deal double damage, twenty percent increased critical strike chance. Pressure points and basics of pain. That's it. Sold one of those. Wait, I know. Hold on, hold on. I might have one. Do you? I might have one. Yeah. What's the base? I think I made. Uh, crit chance. Crit chance. Very nice. It might have that. They're a hundred C with the crit chance base. Oh, that's five passive. It's just, I mean, I guess I five passive is the same. Okay, yeah, I can't remember if I sold it. And if you're looking for one, it'll show mine listed if I didn't sell. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure when yours was listed, but there's a lot listed like 10 minutes ago. I would have been like between 100 and 140 C. Four passive? Uh, I think it was five. Between 100 and 140, you said? Yeah. I'm not seeing it. Damn, son. I can't even find this. This guy, Poloi25, has it. Has, like, a lot of them. Yeah, and 140. Yeah. No way, I just got... Let's go, boys. Um... Hail, go to 100C? 
Hey, do you want to run a map and see if we get lucky? With what? I just got a synth map. Drop. Yeah, I'm down. Dude, imagine if Hologram Masters was in the Atlas. It's not. I know, but imagine. Oh, it, I think it was in there at one point for completion. Uh, where's my path of building? We are now up to 3.7 million DPS. Hype. Get your ass over here and give me that shavs. Got you. And then let's run this synth map. You got an altered distant memory. No. I already have one. I have a few unique maps I'm not running yet. Uh. Only T6. What is? Item level 86. Ah, uh, that that map. All right, let's run it. 25C. Hold on, one sec. I'm just putting away all the stuff I picked up. That's trash. Oh, go on. Where's my uniques tab? I have a barracks script and a barracks pass already. One more and I'll have a, uh, what's it called? Put these away. Strength, max life, minion damage. That's not really worth anything. Dex and an ES, cold damage to spell with two-handed weapons. Interesting. Hey, what do you think this is worth? It's a lot of T1. Okay. Oh, I did. Huh? Oh. I whispered it to somebody. What do you think that's worth? Hey, join my party. Where is that in a second? Got you. Go to MF Doom's hideout. This is free guild five ways. Free guild five ways? Yep. Bro, what? What's up, bitches? Mr. Jug's hideout. 
Mr. Is, Judge. Isn't that where we are? I went to MF Doom side. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, we're good. Ah, yes. I don't think there's an orbot though. That's fine. Is this one oh already my done? God, I clicked on the portal. You what? Who's using two portals? <laughs> he said, "Come back." Oh, go up, go outside. Oop. That just feels wrong. Do you want a shafts? Uh, yes. Thank you. Oh no. Is he righteous fire? Oh god. Holy shit. Alright, I think I'm the closest thing to an Aurobot here. This is not going to be great XP. No, it is not. Definitely not. Not gonna be great XP, but... Needs more damage. Yep, I'm staying away from the boss. Killing the boss. Just killed it. So I'm also going to need to respect my Atlas. I was like, where's all my damage? I'm running a one link cyclone setup so I can run the shafts. Yeah. Lol. Where's my damage? Do I take the shafts off? No. 
I'm gonna try it. Because at this point, we're not making levels anyways. I might as well see what my build can do. I'm gonna leave after this run. Yeah, same. You get more XP mapping. Where's my leech? Where's my gain on hit? There it is. Yeah, it needs more damage. My spirits are spent. What would you say this is? Like T16? Ish. Ish? Harder? Easier? It's, uh... I don't know. It's pretty... Pretty equitable. Pretty similar. Time to go map. Yeah, right? Doing uh, five runs for two days. I'm just gonna map. Gonna, gonna map. Test the shit out. I'm the map. I'm the map. All right, you ready to go run this uh, this memory? Yeah, what do you got? Oh, here, let me make a... a Kofifi real quick. Trade me that, uh, Shavs. Yeah. Here, you can throw these on, too. Oh! If that drops a Divine, though, I'm just saying, remember me. Hey, do you have Vol Orbs? Do I have any? Yeah, I need... Yeah. A few. I need... One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you have seven? Or I'm sorry, eight? Oh. Ah, yes. Okay, time to evolve all of these. I didn't see them. 20, level 20, level 20, level 20, level 21, Grace. Level 19, yeah, Grace. Level 21, copy. Grace. And 7% nice. quality. Two level 21 Graces are 45 chaos each. Before you make that copy, check this out. Got you. This will be a quick map. I'm excited to see if I can even T16 with this right now. It no, feels no, alright. No, oh, my ores are off. There we go. Oh, much better. Rare damage isn't great. Some scares over here. My spirit is spent.
So what is what is it that drops from this? Synthesized items. Just any synth items? Yep. And you didn't juice it at all? You just... You can't juice it. They're unique maps. Ah. Uh. This is a hard boss. Works for me. If I must destroy you before uniting mankind, I will. Oh, never mind. Oh! We got a ring? Synthesized ring? What do we got? We got a ring. Is it big? I haven't... Okay, it's, it's 40C unidentified. Do I identify it? That is a circle of guilt, my friend. Yeah, but they have different roles. Yeah, I hit it. Oh! Is it big? We, we hit the big boys. What'd we oh, get? Really? That's it? Hold on, hold on, what? hold on. What? Okay, it's, it's pretty good. 87%. Oh, that one's not that good. But the 59% increased buff effect, that's big. armor's alright too. Five chaos? What? Thirty chaos. With yeah. the armor roll. Without the armor roll, with just the two variants, it's five C. There's none with that high of a strength roll? Oh, the strength is the implicit. Right. Yeah. I'll throw it up for like 50 C and see what happens. Yeah, I guess, yeah, if your strength stack and the extra 10 C would be good. Oh, there's still enemies left. Come on, drop something good. I can't do this just yet. It's gotta be that middle area. Fifty remaining, how? Good enough. What'd you get? Huh? Huh? Why are you giving me the gems? Y you want those, yeah? Yeah. All those level 20s, that's a couple C. Alright, now I'm gonna make coffee. I will be RB.
You invited who to the party? Someone buying a level 20 grace. Breach, please, D's. Are they buying a level 20 grace? Yeah. Easy clamps. I was like, man, I don't know why he doesn't want this. It's pretty easy. Yeah, right? I'll take the big boys. And that's also payment for the Vol Orbs that I didn't have. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What's a level 21 MAME going for? More chaos. Nice. That's right, buy my garbage six link. And then this is... More trade, let's go! Maps are lava. Huh? Maps are lava. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, maps maps are, lava. are lava, yeah. You didn't want the shaper seed? Nah. Oh, he'll give you the seed. Like, he'll I'm give you the seed real you. good. I have the runs. That's not what that means. Yeah, I need more damage. Survivability is feeling pretty good right now, though. Nice. Great HP at? Uh, 4.1k. Oh, nice. Uh, Alter over here. Hold on. I'm in the boss. Need some coal? My spirit is spent. Another alpha over to the right. Ooh. Charge yeah. removal. Charge removal. Tell me you need charges. I do.
crop the burning ground, laps and immune to burning ground. Very nice. Ah, I don't know what happened there. He is not immune to burning. I'm not immune to that could have been it. Standing in the bad. Oh, gem cutters. Portal's up. What does it need? More damage. I mean, possibly. It's also more DPS. More DPS is also more leech, so. If I get DPS, all I gotta do is raise my leech cap. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not more leech. You need more leech cap. You need more max. I don't understand. Am I getting one shot? Check the map mods. The map mods are crazy. Uh, increase AOE. All damage taken from hits can scorch. 60. What is scorch? Minus fire res? Minus 20. Uh, minus 30% to all res. Yeah, that could be it. I don't mind that because I got the 50% beefy flasks. Yeah, that makes sense. Gotta make dollars to make sense. Uh, and minus 30, I would be under capped on fire res. That's probably what it is. Wow, even with concentrated effect, my AoE is larger? Oh, that's him. Oh, he's a dummy thick spinny boy! Oh, he's level 80. Let it rip! 80 spin. Bint boys. Bint boys. He's like, no. My AoE is still bigger than his. You looking to fortify? Oh, I did not. Let me do that now. I actually forgot about it. Um... Melee hits fortify. That's a fortify mastery. Oh, it's right here. Hold on. Fortifying hits grant 30% increased fortification. You don't need that. That's the starting node. Plus one to maximum fortification, plus one to maximum fortification, plus four, and then melee hits. Yeah, that might be it. Melee As opposed to fortified. what? Is it time to ditch the singular endurance charge? Oh yeah. But I don't know if I'm armor capped without the one one endurance charge. I mean, who cares when you're taking 20% less damage from hits? Fair? More. More than that. I need two more levels. I can take it out of this. So one, two, three, four, five points. Do I have five regrets? I do. Let's try this out! Alright, you got a decent amount of... Uh, uh, you're still in that same map here. I'm gonna run to my head out and I'm gonna try something out real quick. We'll see if that, that just feels better. Better will. Do we have any 16s? Oh, we have a Lair of the Hydra. 
Oh, run it. Go yeah, right. Hydra real quick with your new tech. Let's try it out. Uh, I don't want to go too crazy on this. I'm just gonna run it like that. A little bit of eater influence. Oh, there's my ten vol orbs I just gave you back in my ritual. Oh yeah. Oh, fuck. Needs more damage already. Well, you can now get rid of your, uh... Oh, no, you... Oh, maybe. Path over the leech instead. What's the... What's the cap for Fort? Fortify? Uh, it's 20 without any additional bucks. This is 40% increased damage with attack skills while you have at least 20 fortification. Maybe I do that one instead because that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points as well as opposed to... Yeah, let's try that. We'll try using the other fortify tree because that gives us a little bit of damage too. We get more fortification this way, but we get increased attack damage and a difference of four maximum fortification. Can you get um, maximum fortification as a mod? No. Isn't there like multiple fortify trees down there? Yeah, there is. But am I gonna take all of them? Are you? That feels a little better. Ooh, maybe not. I'm still dying. What? What's the mods? Uh, I'll tell you when I go back in, but I'm gonna look at my defenses real quick. I'm only 70% physical damage reduction right now without that endurance charge. Endurance charge I... is only 4 It's gotta be increased as well. It's only 4%. Oh wait, I'm I'm forgetting my flask. Okay, I'm 80%. I was somehow 90 with the endurance charge though. So it's gotta be more than that. If you go under miscellaneous, no, charges, it tells you what each charge does. Considering I don't have them now, it won't show me. No, it'll say. It says zero of three endurance charges, because you have three maximum no matter what. Under miscellaneous? Oh under charges. Charges is its own menu, never mind. So I wonder if my defense was calcing for maximum endurance charges only. Because before it was 90% phase damage reduction. Now we're down to 70, and then when our flask hits, we're at 80. Could be the chaos res, but I doubt they're all doing chaos damage. Could be. I guess we just go again, try and find out. I can't kill this thing with the fucking what do they call it? Lightning totem minions? Oh, that shit sucks. I literally have to run past him in the map. Cause he's right at the fucking entrance.
The health bars are moving. Okay. Going a little bit better. Okay. Current mods, minus 11% maximum player res. 53% more monster life. Monsters gain 59% of maximum life is extra max ES. Players have 78% reduced effective non-curse auras. Oh, I see why I'm getting Shrek. I have no defenses. Oh, where's all my armor? Oh, my determination doesn't work. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, my determination was turned off. All of my auras. All right, that's fine. You turned out the lights. Now I'm still doing decent, so you know. Hail God. Uh, how many of our burial chambers are are red? A few. Okay. Okay, and then... We're gonna start putting those there. I'm gonna just... Alec can go with T16 real quick. No way someone's buying this, this map for one div. No way. Do it. You're like, no balls? Nope, no balls. You won't do it. Huh. 104% quant, 50% rarity, 32% monster, monster pack size. This is a big map. Okay, yeah, that's better. Let's just run a regular T16, nothing super crazy. And we'll just, we'll see. We'll see what this bill, this bill is at. We need to be able to get to the level of juice. Oh god, there's a deli mirror. Of course there is. <laughs> need to be able to get to the... Oh, no. Actually, not doing too bad right now. Uh, 
Ah, fuck. Pretty sure that was the strong box of Ice Nova that just killed us. Okay, y'all wanna jump me, huh? Dude, we're about to be raking it in. Alright, what's up? Eldritch minions have a chance to drop, um... Polished scarabs? Easy. Had to make sure he was gonna take the trade. We're already at four polished scarabs right now. Just in time. Six polished scarabs? Dude, this is gonna be so good. Yeah, this time going much better. Once we're not getting hit with that ice, no, it doesn't feel too bad, huh? Dude, I can't wait to see how many polished scarabs I make from this. But so far, it's a solid amount. My spirits are spent. Is bulk trading scarabs good money, you think? I want to say I'm like... Oh, jeez. Which reward quality gems? Nah, probably that.
Mad scarabs. Why are they angry? Because they're they're dropping. Why are they angry? Well, you'd be, you'd be pretty angry if you were dropped too. Oh my god, the gore effects? Kinda nutty. This Harvey keeps giving me, uh... Beyond creatures. Wow. We'll take it. Hey, we'll take it. Crimson Township? For when you start running your mage bloods? Are you gonna collect them? What's here? That was a T8. Should be decent, right? I think I need nine or higher. Nine or higher makes everything magic. Which works. Wow. But you should still be able to, with Scarabs, use, uh, what's nine it called? Nine or higher is all enemies. Is what? All enemies. Yeah, but you can use scarabs as well. Let's go. How many incursions remaining? Three. There's another Alva down here somewhere. If I'm not mistaken. So it's Crimson Temple, Crimson Township, and what else? Haunted Mansion. And, uh... Just in time. One other one. Oh, corruption chamber. The more you change my map, and the closer we get to finding the temple in the present day. We going up, boys. Damn. Well, it's still connected already. We just couldn't make it convenient. Just in time. Ah, there you are. Ready to revisit the past. The more you kill, the more you change my map. And the closer we get to finding the temple in the present day. Here's the plan. Let's go. Why am I there dying? Oh, determination's turned off. Oh yeah, all of my auras are at like 30% effect. Makes sense. Auras are perfectly balanced. Oh yeah. 
Who needs to invest anything in damage when you can invest everything in auras and make any kind of character you want? Exactly. Choose a skill, figure out what auras go best with it, and then crank the volume. <laughs> crank the gain. Crank the gain! You know, it's like Lucio said. Lucio's whole build is just an aura stacker, for the record. It's true. So it makes sense. Steal a strat, profit. That is his entire build. So far, this is going really well. Well, until I run out of mana like that. I'm not sure what that was. I think I dashed and had my cast from damage taken activate. Well, this thing's interesting. Look at how much armor it has. And if I quality it, it goes to 1,560 1, armor. Hold on, there's a guy spamming me. Because I didn't leave my map for a 1C trade. If I were going to use this, I would take off the lightning res and the strength. And then multi mod. Then six link it. And it'd probably be worth some money. What do you think? What is it? The the armor I tagged you. See it? No, I didn't see it. Hold on, there's fucking Harvey here. Alright, let's see. Uh, would not be worth it. No? Alright, I'm gonna sell it as is. Six whites is not that hard. Well, six whites is not yeah. that hard, but 6% additional physical damage reduction? And the giant <laughs> fucking armor on it? You can just, well, the, the armor is the base roll. The armor is not the base roll. Oh, and the, and the, yeah. But people aren't looking for armor. The flat and the increased, and the 6% additional physical damage reduction. That's huge defense. People don't want armor, though. And the physical yeah. damage reduction might be good, but you can just alt spam that on influence. Whack. Whack. Alright, nobody's bought my unique ring, so it's going in the tab. We ended up with 15 scarabs, by the way. From one map? One map, yeah. That's huge. Dude, I'm about to sell them and have five gilded. And they're expedition scarabs. What do these go for? Four chaos each. That's 20 C in scarabs alone. Hey, we were able to complete the map. Took a couple of portals to get it right, but... What do? Some more maps? How, how do we make this build better? All you gotta do is equip a staff. Oh, uh, link me that other jewel you sent me earlier. I never priced it. Oh, uh... I mean, with just the 
Two-handed weapons and increased effective lightning ailments. It's 90 C allegedly. But looking at the dex int and spell cold damage, it's like 30 or 153 C. It's a lot of tier one mods. Yeah, the cold damage of two-handed is not that great. Max ES is, is a really good. Max ES and lightning elements. If I look at the dex, int, and then lightning elements alone, there's one up for 20 div. Probably not worth that, but 20 and 40 C as well. I'm using exact values and there's nothing. Oh, I wasn't. The max ES is the best thing on here. Max ES and lightning elements, good. Dex and int is alright. I think it's like 50C? Like 20 maybe. 20? All those other mods are going for 45 plus. Where? Okay, let me put back up. We do Dex int. Dex int and the two handed. Without exact rolls, 30 chaos minimum. Wait, he said eight? I don't have eight. You can try it. I don't think it'll sell, but you can try. I don't know any build that is cold conversion with two hands weapons. But even so, there's a, there's a lot of good mods on there. I think it'll sell for 50. Dexinant, any build can use. Max ES, any build can use. Lightning ailments? The, is, the problem is those things that you think are good are competing with things that people need, like freeze immune, like chill immune. Yeah, I see. So like, yeah, strength and dex or int and dex is good, but would I rather have that or like freeze immunity? But 15% increased effect of lightning elements, more shock. It, it's good, but only if you're not already hitting shock cap. And people are doing that with the tree alone. Mm -hmm. So the ones I was looking at was the max ES, which is probably the best thing on there. And the stats or the max ES and the uh, lightning. Best mods by far on duels are like crit multi. If you have multiple crit multi mods that stack, those duels are pricey. Like crit multi with one handed weapon, crit multi with cold skills, crit multi with, uh, or just like global crit multi as well. You can get three crit multi stats and you have like a 35% crit multi duel. Let's see. Huge money. Oh, hold on. My boss is calling. Goodbye. I almost wonder if it's time to start getting crafted rares. Yep. Maybe something with more than that for strength. Because the int requirement, yeah, 114 int. We have 51 without it, so we really can't get rid of it. 114, and this is what? 111, so we need 114 int. Should we do 50, 53, 63 int? And 124, let's see. Let's see if we can find something.
Uh, what'd we say? Look at 120. We want rare. So apparently that's all we're getting out of it. 133 stank 67 int. That also gives us fire res. ES more fizz. Max life mana. Crit strike chance. Ooh, 0.61% of physical attack damage leashed his mana. We could afford to get rid of that uh, leash node for our mana. Oh, lightning skill gems. Imagine. And we are back. I'm looking at rare amulets. Anything in mind? Just, it has to have a minimum of 100 and, what do we say? 120 strength and 63 int, or else it breaks my build. Can you get flat strength, increased strength, and increased attributes? That'll be pricey, but you can try. Non-channeling skills have minus 7 to total mana cost, lol. I channel. Yeah. 92 in, 136 strength, 89 max life. That's 4 div though, I'm not trying to pay that. Let's go back down. I'd spend like a div on a good amulet. Maybe 1.5, what is this? 127 strength. Plus 1 to level of all fire skill gems. Eh. Is that a percent increase? No. Try to find percent instead of flat. You can get percent. Alright, so we'll say. I don't know what. We'll say a minimum of like 55 is T1 strength, and then increase strength as well. That will probably be pricey. 22 div for 14%. There's one for 70 chaos. 94 int, 50 max life. Uh, a bunch of Ellie damage that I can't use. Yeah. So why is this white? I just dropped an item. White, but it's rare. Right, Not fractured. Oh, it's max roll. Here it is. Here's the amulet. 12 div. 120 strength, 70 int. Non-channeling skills have minus 7 to total mana cost, plus 1 to level of all skill gems. And then cold damage and increase cold damage, but I can't do nothing with that. I can't do nothing with that. <sighs> yeah, the increased strength is tough. I can't find it with a decent amount of uh, strength and int. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are bi huge boy amulet. That's like my amulet in standard. Well, there's only two that currently exist, and one is like 30 div, and the other 75 chaos, but kind of sucks. I'd be better off getting huge wumbo flat attributes. You can't get a good roll than last but Let's set max price. Uh, what what's a div going for here? We'll say the chaos uh, equivalent of three hundred, and then we'll sort by the strength roll. Yeah, fire res, max es, increased es, fizz damage, strength. This might be it right here. 
Yeah, I think that's it. This one's max life and mana, though. Ooh, 120 chaos, plus one to level of all physical skill gems. That's really good. 29% increased armor as well. That could cap me. Let's go for it. All right, answer me, my dick. What does domination do? Oh, shrines. Not very exciting. Maybe if I had a goal, exciting. He said one sec. Okay, we're gonna throw him an extra 10C. And then we need to buy the oils to allocate charisma. Yeah, plus one level of all physical skill gems. That's so good, because that also gives plus one level to our awakened melee fizz. And what else is in there? It's plus strength and something else. Uh, increased armor. It's big. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so it, it's a lot of strength, a lot of in 38 to all attributes, though, so I get a little dex out of it as well, which will help my accuracy. Um, I actually might be losing a little accuracy off this, but we're going to have to see. But then it's 29% increased armor and plus one to level of all physical skill gems. Now I got to allocate it. Uh, I need gold oil. Hold on, let me copy and paste this into my POB so we can see what's about to happen. Yeah, look at that. We're going to be gaining 103,000 DPS. We'll be losing a little mana, a little bit of dexterity, but... Where does the uh, DPS come from? Plus one level of all skill gems and the increase in strength. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be real good. We just have to allocate it. Um... That's definitely more than 120 C amulet, I'll tell you that. Link it to me. Uh, oh, we're not in a party. Uh. Hundred and thirty-two strength. Hundred and twenty-eight int. Plus one to level of all skill gems and increased armor. Doesn't exist. Without it, doesn't exist. Without the int. Doesn't exist. Pretty good. Oh, oh, it's attribute quality. Oh, yeah, that's really good. I'd say that's a couple of div, two div, three div amulet. Oh, it's T1 strength and intelligence. Yes, it is. Almost, it's T2 all attribute. It's still good. Increased armor is good. All fizz, that's good. 
Ooh, do you, uh... Do you take your chances and try to annul off the fire damage? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, my RNG is, is been gone! I need to purchase some golden oils. I think you're gonna knock off the fire damage pretty easy. Just do it. It won't even be that hard. Word. Okay, back to the hideout. We anoint this, we throw it on, and we're all good to go, right? Greetings. Oh, uh, Sister Cassia, anoint item. Sister Cassia, how'd you get in my hideout? What are you doing, stepsister Cassia? <laughs> stepsister Cassia, how did you get stuck in the map device? How'd you get stuck in the map device? <laughs> Alright, so we got a nice big beefy amulet. That's real good. Uh, the boots are wumbo. The belt is huge. Oh yeah, what does this bring our physical damage reduction up to when we hit our flask? 82%. It's only 2%. 30% increased armor is, is only 2%. Yeah. Yeah, well. Needs more flat. Needs more flat. I mean, even with the uh, the flask, I'm at 82%, but now at least I'm fortified as well. I'll be positive chaos res, 13% oh, yeah. chance to fortified. block attack damage. Yeah, it's a big... Dude, that would be a really good omniscience amulet. Oh, yours? Yeah. That would oh, be yeah. Huge. huge for Omni. Satan Global. You're like, is this a good Omni amulet? Hold on, am I in the same Global as you? I'm in Global 1. Let's see what people say. A very, yeah, an amulet for Omni, good one. <laughs> the best. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna run a 16 if we have one. Yes, very good, Exile. <sighs> it's 
skeletons, restless dead. Area is a large maze. Area contains a large chest. Actions nightmare. I've completed this one though. Area so, contains uh, a large chest. How That's do you like feel about uh, a stream where we run every unique map? How many are there? Oh, there's a lot. A lot, a lot? There's a lot. There's probably 20 plus. Oh. I guess we run it and do a T15. That'll do. See how it does. This is just an amulet upgrade. And now we have fortify as well. Going up first. That feels pretty decent. Onslaught might be huge for this. But we need, like, Onslaught on hit, not on kill. None of those are particularly good. We're gonna have to spend like a div on respecting our map. Orbits of Unmaking and we need a lot. On the good news is we're going up the right side of the tree already. Boss? Feels a little better just from the amulet alone. It's kind of crazy. But we're also an additional level now, so like... You're also an additional five levels. No, I don't mean like a uh, character level. I mean gem level. Mm. Ah, there you are. Ready to revisit the past? The more you kill, the more you change my map. And the time to go. No one there, we go down this way. Are we gonna make it? I don't think so. Area in it. Oh, we did! Like, oh. Yeah, me too. I love that. Love that for me. Love that for me. Love that for you. We could also quality our gems. Yeah, I thought about that. It's a lot harder for me because my gems have to be corrupted. Yeah. You gotta buy, just buy the double corrupted. The 2120s. Yeah. Or 2123s, ideally. I mean, this map has felt pretty good. We haven't really had any serious threats, but it's a 15, it's not a 16, and it's not as beefy as we thought it was gonna be. It's all right, don't get me wrong, but it ain't that good. What if we really pile the juice on? We'll just take a map that we already have, 
regardless of what tier it is, as long as it's a decent, decent tier red, because I think I'm out of 15s after this. And we just pile on some scarabs, you know, we try and get a beefy map roll, and really just stress test this with as much as we can. Stress test it? Stress test it. Do you want my, uh, my shaper fragments? Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, let's stress test it, boys. Um. Dropping yeah, a lot of heavy builds, dude. Let's see if we can't get a 2120 Cyclone. Some GCP for our uncorrupts, like our Impale. Awakened Brutality support is level 5. Wait, why is this not getting plus 1 to levels? Awakened gems don't get plus 1 level? Active skill gems. Support gems are not active skill. It just says all physical skill gems. It doesn't say active. Skill gems. Oh, 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 oh. Um, we can, however, try and corrupt that. Quality it and then corrupt it. So we need 20, 40 GCP. Uh, 52 GCP. 2120 uh, concentrated and a 2120 pulverized. Let's see what we can do. Let's start with Cyclone. Uh, gem level 21. Gem experience 20%. And we're going to look for a Cyclone. Three chaos, that can't be right. Where's our quality? Oh, gem quality type. No, any. There it is, that's why. Two hundred C for a twenty one twenty. Twenty one twenty what? Cyclone. What? Yeah, two hundred C. That's weird. Is it? Uh, what's the call of you? It's like AOE. Yeah, AOE. Which is quality of life. But before we spend all of our C on that, so that's 40, 80, 120. Oh, hold on. You're not gaining any damage from that. Not from this one, but we're going to try and quality all of ours 10, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80. So we would literally be down to 9C aside from our 7 div. Um, we'll leave Cyclone for now while we look at the rest. Concentrated effect, 2120. twenty. 120C. But that one's pretty good. That's more area damage. We'll grab that one. And then we can sell this. Plus, we're going to resell some of our level 21 gems. And, like, this is already 1520C. Pulverized support gives us increased area damage, which is great. Also 200C. It looks like that's the going price, huh? Hey, you got some chaos? Do you want to trade for some div? Uh... 
div you got? I got seven div. They're two forty a piece. Do you have four hundred and eighty C? How many gem cutters do you got? 92. 92. I need... 20... Uh, 40... Forty-nine? Yeah, I need I need forty-nine GCP. Three Vol Orbs. And we'll call it four hundred C. What? Do you want do you want chaos or do you want divine or or gem card? Why don't we do four hundred C? Uh what did we say? Twenty forty 59 GCP. I oh, know, because that's already more. Here, let's just start with the let's start with the thing and then I'll figure out the math. I can't math. Wait, is that too much? No. Nope. Are you sure? Yep. For two div? Yep. It's a 480, right? There's stacks of ten. That's 100, 200, 3. Oh, yeah, I'm doing the math wrong. My brain is scrambled. And then what did you want? All right, so let me put most of these away. What you need? I need 20, 40, uh, 49 GCP. Which are what? A C A piece? Two C A piece? They are one and a half C A piece. One point five. That's what we add on half of this, which is half of forty-nine. That's Ninety-eight. Yes. Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and then I also need four vol orbs. Or, sorry, three Vol Orbs. Which are... I say one C piece. So one C a piece. One ten? No, yes, sir! No, 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 one of those is a two stack. That's level 20. That's the level 5. Huh? Huh? Oh, it went down a level. Fuck. I'm dumb. That's fine. This, this should still be decent. You can level it back up. Yeah. And then I just need a 2120 pulverized support. Right? You're not going for 2123s? No, 2120 is already 200C. Oh, dude, you can do 100, 150, 160, 
Pantheon. We want... The Restless Shade. And Murvale. So we're gonna do our Pantheons as well. By the way, that was like a 15,000 DPS change. Just qualitying my gems. Yeah. According to the tooltip. The only thing we didn't get was the Cyclone AoE. And our Awakened Melee Fizz is only going to get to level 5. We lost a level. The Cyclone AoE is whatever. It's not damage. 10% increase AoE, but it's quality of life. It's not worth 200 C quality of life, but it's... Oh, we also need to get some offhand gems to level again. So we'll do what we did last time. We'll buy two grace, three determination. Why don't you uh, buy an enlightened level one to level? I could. Actually, I really could. I wonder what that would do. Sixty C? Oh, corrupted. Corrupted. No. Two divs. Sheesh. So you can do it. Yeah, it's level four. Corrupt it. Corrupt it to level four, and then just sell it. Pretend it. It's easy. Yeah, this dude's finessing me. Ow. He had it listed for 1.9, he's like, no, 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 I was listed for 2 div. Like, if it was listed for 2 div, I wouldn't have gone with yours. It's fine. It's fine. Div, I would have fucked off by now. Point, point one div. I'm not gonna complain that much about. I'll complain, just, just not that much. I'll still complain, just not a lot. This is not a lot. Just, just a little, you know. This is 10C. Level 21 pulverize is 4C. All right. Oh, and then I can level this determination here. That works. All right, here we go. I think we test another map. You don't have any T15s? Oh, you have a T14 Underground C, though. Underground C. I believe that's our Murvale one. And then, what's the other one we need? The Restless Shade. Do you happen to have a grave trough? Map? Yeah. Um, I'm sure. I'll check in a second. Word. I'm gonna run this one. 
That killed Seth. Forty C, yeah, that's all right. That's true. Uh, Matt. Going by my Hrim Sorrows. No, oh, it's big. Yeah, we'll do that. What's big? The one that was in Guild Stash. Oh, there's one there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's 84% quant, 50% rarity, 32% increased pack size, monster life, monster critical strike multiplier, monster critical strike chance, Unique boss deals 25% increased damage, has 30% increased attack and cast speed, 35% increased life, 70% increased AoE, gains the frenzy charge on hit, and gains the power charge on hit. Dude, I drop at least one unique heavy belt every month. One of That's these funny. times. That's funny. One of these times! It's one of these times, not... it's gonna be a leather belt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. It'll never be a mage blood. <laughs> one of these times, I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna say, Who needs Crimson Temple? It's easy! It's easy! The game is easy! Why are people complaining about Mageblood being too hard to get? It's easy! Pick up, easy! Pick up on the floor. Look, I dropped this from the yellow map! It's easy! It's easy game! Pick it up off the floor! Who put this Mageblood on the floor? Feels good. Feeling pretty good. I have to check out the boss damage. Fucker, I was getting shot at off screen and I didn't see it. What happened? I looked over to the right side of my screen to level my gems and was getting shot from the left side of the screen and didn't see it. So I just died and I was like, what just happened? And I look over and there's just that one of those dudes with fucking the, the chaos damage. Like the chaos arrow things, you know what I mean? They look like scorpions. Into a 23% LA Nice, you want me to clear it? Yeah, I'm good. Word. I just gotta finish this for the Pantheon. I have to go to work. Oh, fun. So, I'm gonna log out and this will only be here for like 10 minutes. Got you. Here, I'm gonna skip the Alvas, get this done, and go do that. I just realized it's also noon, so I also have to get to work. But it feels better. Feels, feels good. More damage definitely feels better on the sustain. We 
We almost had it. Oof. It just said there was a door here, though. Marvel. Alright. Marvel, where are you? Why am I not regaining life? What? Why was I not regaining life? No regen, I hit my flask, no life. I'm hitting Mervale, no life. What happened to all my mods? All my sustain. We'll take a wet stone. The stone is wet. Low. Primordial blocks. There we go. 50% reduced effect to chill. This better be good. It's not. Maybe we'll grab our last Pantheon and then we'll and then we'll bounce out because I was late today. Can't forget I was late today. I was on at 8.30 instead of 8. So we're going to run his map real quick. Oh, of course it's Deli. See if we can handle it. This will be a good test for us. His maps are usually a little beefier than mine are. I don't know what that was. I was low on life when I looked, though. So it wasn't one shot. It wasn't chaos. That's the other one we need is 5% reduced chaos damage taken, which will be great. Fucking Sanctum. And yeah, we're gonna just... Quickly, me taking my time. This regen is too big for me. They reflect these nuts. Three passive skill, not a good level. The gripped gloves, the gripper gloves. Come on.
There we go. Yeah, maybe we need uh, some mana fixed. We'll take this. This is, this is not going badly. All things considered, I feel like we did fix the build. T11s. Back to another arena. We're gonna have a lot of primordial blocks maps, but I'm free to drop them. So I mean if you guys if you guys want primordial blocks maps, I'm your dude. I'm a bulk cell. So far so good. nothing in it? I guess so. That sucks. Take a free Divine Vessel. And then assist you. I forget what his phases are. Got it there. Hey, oh, Easy. Finished it. Nice. Yes, sir. Probably found some altars that you couldn't click on. No, I actually didn't find a single one. Oh, nice. Lucky. All right. Lucky? Uh, lucky but unlucky. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I can even do that now is pretty good. There'll be time for that soon enough. Oh wait, we need that grave draw. Yeah, we'll run these. These go to those. Let's go back to our hideout. We'll run this last uh last one for our pantheon that we need. I did it again. Your stash is not the map device. Do we Maven influence it? Maybe we do. Might as well, right? Map off might be hard. Making a beeline for the boss. It's almost always at the top of the map, I feel like. I can't do this just yet. We just dropped the whole ancient orb. Let's go. That's probably the best proc we've had off that. Off the uh, shards dropping his entire orbs or entire currency items. That's probably the best one we've had. 
This boss sucks, so we gotta get ready. Oh. Already one shot at us. Love that. It's like up here somewhere. We really only care about the boss. Dude, okay, the Maven witness might have been a bad idea. Was that it? Well, maybe it wasn't that big of a deal. What did we get? Ricario's flights. With 18% movement speed and 17% movement speed on low life. One C. Yeah, okay, okay. So we should be we should be good to go. That should that should do it. We are actually spending the time. 5% reduced chaos damage, 25% reduced da chaos over time taken while on caustic ground, which is very nice, because that's Always going to be when you're taking it, most of the time, unless you're getting hit with poison, in which case we have an anti-poison flask, so okay. Um, we don't really care about the 30% increased stun and block recovery, because we're not blocking and we're, we're stun immune. Let's uh, import our current build into Path of Building. And we went from 3.8. Where did we, we lost DPS? On what? Don't save. 3.2 million. All right, we're gonna try and import one more time. Items and skills, and we go from 3.2 mil to 2.7, why? How'd that happen? How did we lose? Eighty three percent crit chance, though, that's pretty good. Oh, it's not properly importing the passes. Passive tree. 2.7 mil. I took to fortify. Are you fortified? Yes. So we're 2.8 million. Uh, 20 shock effect because we're shocking with our fizz damage. Increased life regen on consecrated ground, blinded, chilled, frozen. Oh, that's why we're not taking this anymore.
which will help with our bossing DPS considerably. 132k with our bossing DPS. Uh, that's also what we're not taking is the endurance charges. These are also attack speed. That's 184 for three nodes, though, which I don't think is worth it, especially considering we can get 100 and... What do we say? 132 from one node as opposed to three. What do we have here? Chance to impale, it keeps it at 100%. Fifty-seven thousand damage. It's one point three crit chance on a single node. Yeah, it's not a lot. Uh, what else can we take? If that's one hundred and thirty-three, right? And this is. 132, okay, so it's just slightly more worth it. Thirty-three k for three notes. Well, for two notes, we could respect this one. Oh no, because that removes some of our leech cap. I mean, as long as we're constantly hitting, the cap doesn't matter. It's the speed of recovery, right? So maybe it would be worth it to spend the two points here, because that's also one hundred and thirty-three k DPS, and it helps us with our sustain. My only question is, where do we take that from? This is 319k DPS for three points, though. Bring this to 88% crit chance and just over 3 million DPS. So we take, for the next four points, well, we're at 95 now. What is this? 270k? So we respect these three here. What is the big note? Yeah, yeah, we take these three nodes away for 270 DPS and take it and put it here for 300 and change. So we'll go boom, boom, which is more. How much life is this? This will increase our region. Lose 188 max life. It's gotta be a node we can lose. Or maybe a place we're not spending our points smartly. Smart enough. I bleach on hit rate. I don't want to give up our leech because our sustain's just starting to feel good. 320k, 304k is the better of those two nodes. That's our strength stacking. All right, so we're at 2.876 million. What if we do this, but then take this? We're 3,000 different. 
2.876, yeah. Maybe we just need one more level. But we're definitely going to do this crit one here. Change our crit multi for the bigger DPS. And then... Is there anything else we're taking in here that we really need? Maybe we take a little away from our sustain. Put it into that 40% increased damage, which should enable us to boss a little bit easier. I don't know. I don't know. I think with the points that we have, we're doing as well as we can. No wasted points as far as I can see. The cluster drill up here is increase armor. That's four instead of three. That'd be wasting a point just to get more armor. Not worth it. See, this is now saying 76%. But our, our other one, our, uh, our actual in-game one is saying like 82 or something like that, right? 86? With the flask? Weird. Yeah, very weird. It's not calcing entirely correctly. So this, we might be off on our damage figure as well. This might be an inflated number. 2.8 million, it's nowhere near the damage we had with our, uh, our what's it called? That brings our crit chance to 100. Not worth it to be stun immune or to not be stun immune anymore but that would be converting this node that makes us stun immune um yeah from here to to the crit nodes here is the only real difference i can see Like against a, an uber pinnacle boss, we're doing less than a million DPS, which is not good. This is for a regular pinnacle boss, and then... For a guardian pinnacle boss, 3 million DPS, I feel like isn't that bad. But I want to get that point, I just don't know where we're... 188k. 146k. Not worth taking away a frenzy charge. Interesting. I think that's it there. So we need four regrets. We have one to do this. For this. And then we need three regrets for this to go into this crit tree up here.
Point three chaos. It's so dad. Wow. Somebody? Okay. Uh. We want regerts for chaos. Um. The trade bot. The one time I, I'm gonna enjoy a trade bot. When it saves us money. We're swapping those for this. And this should now feel a little better. In POB, right? Which Fortify Tree is better in POB, right? We got 3.014 million damage. Effective hit pool, 42.5k. Forty two point five K versus thirty nine K. That's a three thousand hit pool of difference, like three thousand HP or three thousand damage difference. But this puts us in a better okay, we're gonna save this. We'll run one more map. Cause we're there. We're we're at the time. And I wanna see how this feels. One more map. Do we have a 15? Do we have a 14? We have a 14. You know what? Are there T16s in Guild Stash? Probably, right? We just need a T16. Elemental weakness, more monster life, monsters gain power charge. Yeah, let's see that. Uh, more magic monsters, critical strike chance. Cannot regen. That sucks. I would have done that other than the regen mod. We've never done this one. It's an ancient city map, which I'm not a fan of. But let's uh let's give it a run, shall we? Let's see how the build feels as of right now. Deli mirror. It's gonna be a good test. Didn't even break a sweat. Even with the deli, still feeling good. Spirit 
so far so good. Oh, we may even witness it. Is that it? Did we just kill the boss? We killed the boss faster than the mobs. Feels pretty good. Fine, Delirium Orb will take. Alright, this out was clear. We have a jeweler's workshop. Oh no, we need gem cutters. Corruption chamber we have, gem cutters we have. Um We go up and then let's connect it to the gem cutters. No. Hey, make sure SoundCloud isn't auto playing something bad. Why is it muted? No, we got we got no issues. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this playlist just it just goes and goes and goes. Dude, this is a long copyright free playlist. I'll tell you that much. The damage feels good. So on that pulverized support. You show up to a trade without the money ready? Fine by me. Fine by me. The bone chest. I'm just gonna cut right down through the middle. Just in oh, there you are. Ready to revisit the park. We're gonna upgrade it and then we're gonna go uh, to the Flame workshop, I think. Here's the plan. Time to go.
There we go, just in time. There should be one more Alva here. But we're successfully running T16 without dying. Aside from that one instance in the Alva where we were low and didn't have enemies to hit. So the sustain does feel good with more damage, and I think it's just because we're hitting increased leech recovery rate. So maybe we we try and jack up the damage as much as possible and then use the next several levels to improve the leech speed. Because obviously the more leech speed we have, the, the better we'll be doing while we're hitting, especially if we're hitting more times per second. We also have gain on hit, so I think the way we're going to scale our attack damage from here on is going to be attack speed. Oh, is that the boss? Wow. Even Maven Witness? That wasn't that hard. The, the single target damage is close to 3 million. Maybe we try at Siri after this. Shrine of Empowerment connected to the gem cutters, top left and bottom right at the entrance, and that'd be killer. Oh no. Nope, we don't want to go that way. We don't want to accidentally kill the one guy that we're trying to not kill. We want to connect to the entrance. That wasn't the entrance. It was the bottom right, wasn't it? It was. Fuck. Oh, but it's connected. It's connected. Now we can touch any one of these and we can connect the gem cutters. I believe that's the rest of the Alva mission here. We're gonna head down this way. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad. I wish we could make another crack at the Eater of Worlds. See how we're doing now. We've come a long way since that two days ago. <laughs> Zero remaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I do like where we've ended up with the build so far. I can't complain. It's currently possibly my highest level build. I'm going to put this here for our map building materials. This goes for me. We can take a shot at a Siri or something this weekend, and I'll let you guys know how that goes if we're if we're able to do it. But uh, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Uh, thank you all so much for hanging out today. Uh, I really appreciate it. We had 24 of you in here. If you guys are enjoying the stream, please don't forget to smash the like button before you go. Let me know that you've enjoyed hanging out. Uh, we're going to be doing some more interesting stuff on Monday when we go to run the burial chambers and try and drop the doctor. We'll be doing that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the very least until we drop either enough doctors to get a headhunter or until we run out of maps. And when we run out of maps, if we don't have enough, maybe we'll gamble them and try and get a, try and get a headhunter a different way. But uh, that's going to be it for me. I will see you guys on Monday for the Burial Chambers Blitz. I mean, I will come up with a more clever name than that. But similar to how we did the uh, uh, Primordial Block Splits. And we'll see what we can't get. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for hanging out.